Tails? Tails? You're not who I'm looking for. Oh, I wonder if he's okay. Hello everyone, and we are back for more Sonic Adventure. Uh, last time, uh, the tornado crashed, Sonic and Tails got separated, and now we are back in Station Square. Sonic, wait up! Long time no see! Uh, uh, Amy! What's wrong with you anyway? Listen, this birdie seems to be in trouble, so you need to be his bodyguard for a while. You must be kidding! If you don't, we're just gonna tag along anyway! So yeah, Amy's back. Uh, for the first time ever, uh, well, for the second time ever since Sonic CD. Um, excluding Sonic the Fighters and Sonic R. Uh, this is um, Amy's first appearance in the way she looks. Uh, this is not how um, Amy used to look. Um, this is also the first game that we will be able to play as Amy for like the first time. Again, excluding Sonic the Fighters and Sonic R. So now we're going to meet her right here. No problem! He's just a chunk of cheesy hardware! Whoa! Oh, now what? Huh? Look here! It says, New Cup getting free! Let's go! Amy! Uh, w -w -w wait Oh, man! That girl is such a pain! Okay, so uh, here's Twinkle Park. Uh, the fifth stage of Sonic's story. So, uh, first things first, we have to steal one of these go-karts. Um, for some reason, these are some of the most deadliest, some of the deadliest go-karts I've ever seen, or whatever is riding the go-karts. Pretty dangerous. But yeah, that's where the fun kicks in, because now that we have a go-kart, um, we're basically racing towards the end. All, even though we're not racing anyone, or anything. But yeah, this is very fun. Uh, this is probably my favorite part of the entire stage. And um, it, I, it's funny how um, I think it's funny how Sonic, when Sonic goes up the high ramps, uh, he's always saying "woohoo!" And then uh, yeah, it, it's very funny and amusing to me. Going down, okay. So uh, we're almost, we're almost there. We're about halfway there. Uh, but the controls are actually pretty simplistic. Um, basically, just hold down the jump button and move forward. Oh wait, did I just forget the controls? I don't know. Anyway, that's the end of that. Now we're riding in a roller coaster. How crazy could this possibly get? And we're going down. Okay, back to platforming. Well, so first things first. Uh, that was a failed attempt. 
of hitting those bowling pins. An extremely failed attempt. Oh, we've also got water. Everyone knows that Sonic hates water. This time I'll get it. Yeah! Strike out! Alright. Um. Oh wow. Freaking key keys. Well, by the way, um, here are some. Here's some dynamite bombs. Uh. Stepping on either one of them or touching them, I guess, uh, will make them detonate. And they will, of course, needless to say, eventually explode. So, um, what we want to do here is uh, stick to the top. Because uh, sticking to the top is the shortest, fastest way to go. Um, when I was a kid, um, when I was playing the stage, I always, I would always fall down to uh, the bottom part of the stage, and that would cause me to um, have to take the long way around. So yeah, fun times. Oh, and uh, by the way, um, I forgot to mention in the in the previous video that uh, the crystal ring is an optional power up that you can get if you want. But like I said, it's optional, uh, just like some of the other um, power ups in the in the game. But there are most of the time the power ups are mandatory. Yeah, not bad. Oh yeah, where's Amy? Welcome to Twinkle Park. Oh shoot! I've lost Amy. I bet that robot hauled butt after her. I'd better catch her before it does. Well, looks like uh, Amy disappeared, and we're gonna go find her. Oh, look at that. Wait, where is it? I mean, I, I know where it is, but... <laughs> um, apparently, me from the past... Kind of had a little bit of a confusion for a second. So... Yeah. What was going through my head at the time? I have no idea. There it is. So here's an employee car that just randomly fell out of the sky. And that obviously doesn't even make any sense, because Sonic's not even an employee anywhere. Employee anywhere. So uh, basically you can go in either one of these elevators that you want, and it leads to possibly the best stage in the entire game, Speed Highway. Uh, which is personally um, one of my favorite stages in this game as well. Uh, I have no idea what just happened there. But the game just decided to clip me for some reason. But yeah, um, what's not to love about this stage? I mean, it's, it's a fast paced. Uh, great platforming sections, um, 
just a fantastic stage in general, alongside a fantastic music. I actually want to uh, head in this direction, personally. I literally just jumped right over that, directly over that, and didn't even touch it. So here's the hel uh, here's this helicopter. Uh, we don't want to touch the propellers. If we do, um, we'll get clipped. I'm just kidding, but um, you're going to lose your rings. Don't touch the propeller. I actually did that once a long time ago. I learned that the hard way. <laughs> I mean, it didn't kill me. I had more I had rings, but I lost them. Going down. And here comes one of the best parts of the stage. We're going down. So, yeah. Here's uh, the part of the stage where you travel down um, a building at lightning speeds, dodging obstacles. And you don't even lose any rings. This is how the mock speed sections in Sonic 06 should have been. But I digress. Literally just five rings, come on. Excuse me. Oh, by the way, uh, stay out of the streets. Like, literally, stay out of the streets. The cars can actually hurt you this time. Like, I have no idea why, but they just hurt you this time. So, yeah, that's the end of this. The end of this stage. Yes. Notice how Sonic is looking at all the animals. Yeah, not bad. And we are out. Uh, it's strange because it's actually daytime again. So, um, unfortunately, we couldn't even find Amy. I wonder where she is. By the way, we can't really go to Mystic Ruins. Amy! Oh man! Where can she be? to me or I'll squash ya! Hey, what's happening here?
Shoot! I've lost her again! So, uh, now we're heading back, um, uh, towards this direction, because apparently that's where the egg carrier is going. And who knows, maybe we'll meet Tails here. Hopefully. Uh, but we, before we, uh, move any further, we can't go in this direction yet. Somehow we have to destroy that monkey. How do we do that? This is the ancient light. Try the light speed dash toward the enemy. With this, you can now do the light speed attack. Alright, so now we have acquired the ancient light. And if we charge it up, look close to the enemy. Boom. Now we're headed to Red Mountain. Which is... actually... quite red. Oh, and there's the egg carrier. So, um, that means we're actually going in the right direction this time. So now we have to chase the egg carrier. So, um, Red Mountain actually has some, some pretty jazzy music going on here. Some rockets require you to push a switch. Uh, it's not like um, all the other stages that we uh, that we've gone through. Uh, this is actually um, one of the few stages in the game. Well, one of well, later on, uh, it's going to go back to um, a more rock-like sound. But. Um, So, uh, basically, uh, the soundtrack in this game, uh, was, uh, composed by, uh, Jun Sinoe, all the uh, bass of the soundtrack, but not every single track in the game. But, uh, there are, but, uh, the, the soundtrack is a combination of other Japanese composers as well. But, uh, this track, uh, in specific, was not composed by June Sinoe. So, um, here, we're just making our way through the mountains, uh, and there's a lot of fire and lava around. So it's burning up. This stage does not go well with the submarine. Uh, here's something that doesn't make any sense. We've got a giant hammer crushing a switch. And we have to actually step on it with our own two feet. Which doesn't really make any sense. But I digress. making our way is through here. Going down. So, uh... So now we're kicking up a notch. Uh, we're going through this very dark, creepy cave where there's more lava than ever. And we've also got some very awesome catchy, new metal type of music. I'm not sure if it's new metal at all. So I'm not really sure. But anyway... It sounds very alternative-like or something. But this track was composed by June Sinoe. So, um, what we 
want to be want to, trying to be careful platforming through uh, this lava cave. Uh, this cave, uh, the lava thing, uh, goes up more and more as we progress. So we have to be careful not to touch it. It's not instant death. I mean, but uh, it's only natural not to touch the lava. And I got it. And look at these guys. I can't really uh, zoom into the camera to show you guys what those things are, but yeah. Pretty creepy, well, silly looking geoworks. Let's go! Roger! 